I don't know. One day, she, you know, she was fine, chilling. She's always been like, like a coming home and uh, just relax, kind of like mosey around, you know. So we just thought she was acting normal because uh, we just noticed she was chilling in her little cat tower up top. But then it was been like a couple days, so we like, hmm, what's up with her, you know? When we go and try to touch her, she's just like meow, you know, like like something's wrong. And so we like pick up her legs, and we just see like a bunch of blood on her and we're like, oh, you know, that's not good. So we rushed her over to the vet first. They kind of like um, gave her like a temporary, like like staples, you know? And they put a tube in her so she didn't get super infected because it was already like starting to get infected. And then we were supposed to come back in like four days. And But when that four days, when we came back that four days, um, it, was our, it was worse, you know? Cause like she, she was already so immobile for such a long time that when she started to feel better, at least a little bit, she wanted to walk around. And I think she kind of like ripped her, ripped them open a little bit. We couldn't tell because she had like a cast on. And then they cut open the cast and it's, it's worse. It's like all the way up, like her whole rib cage like that. And it's all infected, the tube, there's like no staples on like the middle of the tube. They were like, oh, we need to get her a specialist. So we spent as much money as we could and that was still, you know, it was only like two visits that we could really afford until we needed like, you know, other m people's money, my grandma's money. And then they told us about Birch Bar. Once, they f once we finally got accepted, you know, it was great, you know, everything went smoothly and successful freaking surgery, you know? She's a lover now and freaking happy about it. Honestly, if Birch Bar didn't get involved or you know, she she wouldn't have made it. We would have had to put her down because we just wouldn't have had money to, you know, continue, yeah, her treatment. And so I'm super grateful for Birch Park. I think if you have the money to donate to them, I think you should definitely do it because it's a great program.